Uh, the painting shows um, the Great Fire of London. Uh, we don't know the actual name of the specific painter, but it's likely to be by an Anglo Dutch artist. Um, the date range given for it is 1666, so the year of the fire itself, to 1700. So it's possible that this really is an immediate response to the fire. Um, something that perhaps supports that is the fact that the painting is very much about the moment. There's not so much of an intensive focus on architectural detail. It is about a spot moment in time, and it's about capturing that devastation. Um, it shows a scene from the Essex Stair. You can see people in the foreground, arms in the air, um, in disbelief, arms wide, trying to sort of take in this devastation. There are even people cowering, um, just not even looking at the devastation and fire. There are people loading boats as well. You get the impression of an evacuation, um, but I imagine this would have been a pretty horrific thing to have seen. Um, and to know that it had been ongoing and was not under control, it must have really felt like something almost apocalyptic. It shows also that the fires reached St Paul's, which um, we can pinpoint to a record in um, the diary of John Evelyn. So um, it's highly likely that this painting shows a specific moment in time, which is the 4th of September. We know the fire started on the 2nd of September, so you've seen this sort of four-day window. This is, a, this is a moment in time within that four days when the fire was raging. Um, the sun in the far corner actually reminds you that this is a daytime scene, but the fires cause such devastation, it's literally turned time upside down, day, day is turned to night, so we can see that the um, blue sky is entirely blackened by smoke.